Hi, I'm Dr. Lauren Alderman with Iron Gate Equine Clinic, and we are doing shockwave treatment on this patient today. Um, she was probably kicked by a pasture mate a few months ago. We can see a bony callus starting to form where she had a small skull fracture. We took radiographs a couple months into the healing process and it wasn't healing as quickly as we wanted it to. So we decided to add shockwave therapy into her treatment protocol to help speed along that healing. So I've got my machine all ready to go. We choose our attachment, our trode, based on how deep we want the shockwaves to penetrate. And what we'll do is just put a little bit of ultrasound gel on Coco's treatment area. This helps the waves get to where they need to go. We do have her sedated a little bit. Most horses tolerate this treatment great without sedation, but since we are working on her face and she tends to be a little bit more of a nervous patient, she just has a little bit of sedation on board. So once we start the treatment, it's pretty noisy. The treatment is based on number of shocks. Typically horses get 1,000 to 1,500 shocks. Because we're treating a very small area today, Coco's just getting 500 shocks. Here we go. can see I kept the trode moving throughout the whole treatment. Um, she wasn't really bothered by it. She was paying more attention to what's going on around us. But that's it. Um, if we were working on a, a sore leg or a sore back or something like that, typically we recommend no exercise that day because we do know that there's pretty significant immediate pain relief and we don't want the horse to feel too good and overdo something and strain something. Um, for her face, we're resting her anyways and keeping the bridle off of it for another week or so. And then we're planning to repeat radiographs and see where the healing is at that point. Great. 